Hey, welcome back, guys, to my Alan Wake 2 playthrough. This will be my full platinum walkthrough on Alan Wake 2, how to get to everything in a sort of optimal way. I'm going to be taking through through this sort of chapter by chapter. I'm going to be getting all the collectibles along the way and all the missed trophies and pretty much everything you need to acquire platinum. 100% trophies, 100% achievements. I think they might release DLC trophies for this, by the way. Apparently, new, apparently Nightmare and New Game Plus is going to come in a, a later update. I think they said it; they're going to release it about a month after release. So we're going to be collecting some things that are not necessarily needed for trophies, um, but because they're likely to, like, say, add Nightmare and New Game Plus. It's going to be really helpful just having all these extra extra items and upgrades and whatnot guys you know ready for when we want to play them later on and get their trophies but yeah for the sake of the series so it's just going to be platinum uh, but we're collecting most collectibles along the way definitely everything needed for for trophies and a few extra things which are not like i say just mainly for to make your character a bit more stronger uh, ready for new game plus when it drops a nightmare Yes, yeah, so I'm just getting all my settings ready. Increasing all my sort of uh, camera sensitivity. So I can spin around a bit quicker. You know, get a drop on enemies behind me. Spin around really quick. Always turn my vibration strength down. And you might want to turn off controller aim assist. Because on Nightmare, when it drops, that's probably going to be disabled by default. You know, because it's like a high difficulty there might be no controller assist on that at all. So you might want to turn it off because otherwise you're going to get dependent on it. Now I know you do, I get dependent on it. But if you just turn it off from the start, it'll make it much easier on Nightmare, just in case they do make it so it's disabled on it. Yeah, I picked story difficulty. Back to the beginning. There are no difficulty related trophies at the moment. And for some reason, you start in as a butt naked guy. Yeah, for some reason, this is the intro. They lobbed two butt cheeks in your face to begin the game with. But it's a very linear path to begin. You're just going to head forward. Just let your... Um, yeah, let your penis point you in the right direction. Just keep heading forward the way that's pointing. Use that as your, as your compass, if you will. Yeah, basically just following a linear path, you can't really you can't even get lost here. There's there's no not really any branching paths or anything. Yeah, eventually there'll be a little cutscene. This is sort of the first chapter called Return Zero. I've got a text guide for this as well, by the way. You can find linked in the description. Yeah, I'll be doing this chapter by chapter and the text guide will be sort of updated. You know, as the videos come out as well, it'll sort of update as I get them done. But yeah, you can't run until you get to them two big trees up there. You'll get a small tutorial up here. It'll just say, like, hold L3 or press it to sprint. And they can run a bit faster. I do not want anybody abusing photo mode in this part when it when it drops. Yeah, I think that's coming as well. I think they're going to drop Nightmare, Nightmare Difficulty, New Game Plus, and Photo Mode. Yeah, do not use photo mode in this part, guys. Could be a nice little thumbnail, bit of cheeky one. But yeah, it's not really any combat in these chapters. There's I mean, in this video, there's going to be one small sort of combat encounter near the end, but literally lasts for about 10 seconds. It's not long at all. So once you reach the sort of picnic area, yeah, these guys are obviously not very happy seeing a, a naked man wandering about, and they will stab you. Hunting season, yeah, that's your first trophy for completing that one, guys. Complete the chapter, the cult. Hardest chapter in the game, that one. No, I didn't. I did not mean it that the way you're thinking. Right, return one invitation. So we're going to come over to this map board, 
Intro of it to get your first map and you'll get that trophy, Nightmare Territory. So pick that map, guys. That's it, that's one we picked up. Looks like a Last of Us map from uh, uh, downtown. Right, come over here next and talk to Mulligan. He's blocking the only way in. So you're going to talk to Mulligan. I will be skipping cutscenes. You want to tell him I'm in charge here. And they want to choose any witnesses to the crime. Yep, he'll mention the bookers, so we'll probably have a chat with them later. And then we want to ask him, let's take a look at the body. Just make sure you bring him a microscope with you. Yeah, eventually he'll move out of the way. You can hold circle to skip. Yeah, so let's take a look at the body. That's it. He should step aside now. Go on, Mulligan. Move out of the way. Chop. Chop, chop. Right, through here. Take right. Yeah, get a tutorial in a second for the mind place. Yeah, this is the place in your mind. Yeah, so look at the case boards. And or you, you don't need to do anything here, just follow the um, actions which appear on screen. I press X to look at it, use the right stick to move around, L2 and R2 to zoom in. And that's it, once you've done all that, you should be able to press the button again, the um, touchpad. And come back to here guys. Right, you're going to run down here. And just after dropping down, you're going to reach a road. Yeah, hop down there, and you'll reach a road. You're going to go straight across into the path opposite. Yeah, see that little rocky path over there? Go down it. And on the right, there'll be another path shortly. You want to go up here. There'll be a little sign with a, a guy walking up some steps. You want to go up there, guys. Case will wait for you, don't worry. You won't go far. And once you get up here, you want to go left. And um, you'll find a lunchbox. Yeah, this is where I am. I'm at the top. You see the yellow arrow? Yeah, that's me over there. Yeah, pick a lunchbox. Alex Casey movie lunchbox. You'll find two manuscript fragments and a picture inside. Yep, so you upgrade your weapons for them. There's a trophy for max upgrading a weapon, by the way. And you will not get you will not get enough to upgrade everything in one playthrough. So um, I'm not going to upgrade anything yet. But yeah, just making you aware, guys, when you do decide to upgrade something, you need to fully upgrade one weapon first. So I say, if you if you upgrade all different weapons, which is like, you know, one level here, one level there, you might not have enough. So um, you need to focus on fully upgrading one weapon to begin with. You know, just get that trophy out of the way. But that will come later. Like I say, we're not going to be upgrading anything here. So we're going to follow... Casey to the general store and they're going to go left and then left again guys and this will be taking us north now and right at the top of the slope will be another lunchbox a lunchbox again yeah again a lunchbox yeah that is where I am that's me on the map that's a little suitcase the icon yeah, so pick up. This one will have one fragment inside it. Yeah, no need to go into mine place. Sometimes I just press the wrong, press the wrong button. Just press circle. Takes a little bit getting used to this mine place. So yeah, once you've got that second lunch box, head all the way back down to the general store. Yeah, head over here and then follow these two now. They're going to take to the murder site. If you know where you are, you can go straight there. But you, you have to wait for them. And they're mega, mega slow. Yeah, you have to wait for them. You don't really have much of a choice. 
Yeah, prepare yourself. Yep, it's got like a little finger there. But yep, yeah, that's uh you'll find out you'll find out its name in a second. So yeah, once you people come, once they catch up to you, Thornton and Casey, eventually you'll be able to examine this guy. Like I say, you might need your microscope. Yeah, the X prompt should appear. Once she mentions, does it fit the MO of the murders? Yeah, just examine him once, and then open your mind place, and you're going to place that piece of evidence, that picture, down there. Yeah, so once you place that, you can leave the mind place. That's it, now examine the body again, now you want to examine the heart, the chest wound, and the wrist. Yep, yeah, it'll probably find he's got a pair of tweezers stuck in his hand. Yep, yeah, and then once you've examined them, three points of interest on the corpse. Go back into your mind place and slot all them three pieces of evidence. All you do, you have to slot them on the actual question. Not a question, but on the, you know where it says consistent with prey. You have to use them on there and then they'll automatically go into place afterwards. Yeah, then once you've done so, go over there, examine examine the body again at evidence marker 1, then examine the spot at between evidence marker 2 and 3, and then examine the tripod and the lunch, lunch box at evidence marker 4. Once you've done so, come back over to Thornton guys and ask him if he's identified the victim. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Well, he definitely wasn't a porn star. Yeah, so you find out who's actually FBI. Yep, and Casey knew him. So yeah, after talking to Thornton, then you'll be able to talk to Casey once you find out about the victim, that he knows him. You wanna choose, you knew the victim. And then you, yeah, you get a card from sort of a Thornton and a card from Casey. Now go back into your mind place and place that evidence that you've got so far. Yeah, place them all on there. Once it's sort of one of the um, small, small cards has gone sort of green, that means you pl you've placed all the images, all the evidence for that particular question. Yeah, place them all. There'll be another little cutscene. Yeah, and they will be able to profile now. So now you want to interact with the middle desk and profile. Select Nightingale's picture and choose both options. Missing person and the other one beside it, ritual murder. Yeah, pick them both, then go back to the case board guys and place that new piece of evidence on the wall. Right, once you've done so, we can advance a little bit. So now we're gonna come back down here, we're gonna take a left, there'll be a trailer at the end. Not a trailer, it's sort of like, um, I don't know, kind of a big sort of house type thing, camper house. Yeah, so um, the code for this, look at these ones I'm putting in, it's hard to explain. You've got the hourglass, the triangle's facing inwards uh, at 11 o'clock and 5 o'clock. You've got two facing inward from 12 to 6, and the two facing outward from 9 to 3. Yeah, secret stashes, discover one lunchbox and one court stash. Yeah, pick them up, you'll find a trauma pad inside and 10 ammo for your handgun. Once you've done so, come inside here guys, go left, and you want to examine this deer on the wall. This collectible is not required for trophies, but if you get them all, it'll sort of give you, it'll help you later with sort of upgrades and um, whatnot. So it's helpful to get them all. Right, then we're gonna come along here, follow this path I'm taking. I'll show you the map in a second. We're basically going to the far southwest corner of the map. Yeah, once you get here, go left. And this is lunchbox, right in the corner. Yeah, that's where I am, guys, right in the southwest corner. Yeah, pick it up, the lunchbox inside, you'll find fragments times three. Right, then go back to real world. Or fictional, the um, fictional world. 
and um, we're going to head back over to Casey now. If you just kind of head north from that small campsite, there'll be a ledge you can jump up. It'll be like a little shortcut back to Casey. Yeah, up here. And once you get up here, you want to go left. We will be back here later, by the way. But yeah, some things, some collectibles you can only get at certain points, certain times in the story. Not many, it's mainly the missable ones. They'll be later. Yeah, so Casey's going all the way around here and he's going to that massive tree. And that tree is massive. You see now, it's like in the clouds. I don't realize until he said, and then I looked up. But yeah, that tree is massive. But yeah, you want to come inside the tree and examine the footprints and then examine the manuscript page. After examining it, press circle and then once you sort of cancel out, there'll be a little cutscene. Yeah, so once you've examined both, press circle and there'll be this little cutscene. Yeah, we get a trophy, not the last. That's for picking up your first manuscript page. Right, once you've done so, back into the mine place and you want to profile nightingale again and there'll be one new option now should appear if you give it a moment there you go the page yep profile him about the page and then put down all this new evidence yeah put all this down and then we can advance the story a bit more Right, once you've done so, we're ready to head back. So now we're going to head back to the murder site. But it's a collectible we're going to get first, a lunchbox. Another Alex Casey lunchbox. Yeah, just head straight ahead, east, kind of, northeast. And um, you're going to climb up this ledge, follow the path up, and it'll take you to the witch's hut. You're going to go left, over, over this bridge, and then on the right will be a lunchbox, guys. Yep, this one here. Are we Alex Casey lunchbox. Yeah, that's where I am. Just west of the witch's hut. Yeah, and grab the fragments from inside it. That's one fragment inside there. Yeah, you can loot the lunchbox as well. Do not forget to loot that. Yep, inside you'll find two batteries. So yeah, loot that guys for two batteries. That big caller box. Right, carry on all the way back, back to the path, and Casey should be waiting for you. Did you know this entire area is inside a caldera? So now we're going to head back to the murder site finally. We're going to talk to Thornton, and he's going to give you the shortcut key. Imagine the force it took to carve this crater out of the earth. Calderas are pretty rare, so be sure to take it in. So, essentially, we're standing in the gaping maw of hell. Hey, you got it. Back. Yeah, so good old Thornton. Just get through this dialogue and he'll hand you the key, guys. I'm not gonna say no to quality time with a volcano. I mean, my daughter. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy. Yeah, you might have to wait for the current dialogue to finish first because um, Saga is talking about a volcano for some reason. Yeah, but he'll give you that key and then you take it from him. There you go, thank you, mate. Right, with the shortcut key, Thanks. you can run over here and unlock this gate. Let's get the car. Drive to Bright Falls and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. Yeah, we're going to go to Bright Falls now and talk to witnesses. This is a familiar place you may recognise if you've played the um, if you've played the first Alan Wake. Seems like a nice yeah, so head up here. Yeah, and a, a radio tower should eventually come into view. At the sort of second bend. Yeah, that small radio tower over there, that small radio shack. Yeah, head round the back and there'll be a ledge you can climb. And up that ledge is another lunchbox. Another one of those lunchboxes. Yep, open it up and pick up the um, fragments inside it. Yeah, that's where we are. Yep, near the FBC station. 
Right, carrying up the slope, there'll be another shortcut gate you can unlock with the shortcut key. Can't fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed, tripod, tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod for a camera? To record a snuff film? Yeah, this one up here. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? Yeah, take the left path, and that should, well this path here, this should take straight straight up to the car park. It's basically a shortcut to the car park, guys, which we just took. And go to the driver's side of your car. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff. There's American, so yeah, car on the left. The, sorry, door on the left. And yeah, definitely car on the left as well. That's it, tow okay, so you can walk. No, best take him with you. And we're going to go to Bright Falls next. We'll be coming back later for the Deer Fest. Right, as soon as you get control, turn around and you want to see this, you see this lodge behind, we're going to go inside it. Elderwood Lodge. And you see this weirdo dancing to... Is there any music playing in there? Yeah, you want to come to this private room guys in the far right, far right room. And um, intro out of this deer, and that's another one of the deer heads, that's two of twelve I believe. Yeah, run back. You probably should have arrest this guy. Illegal dance moves. Look at them. Yeah, we're gonna come back outside. Now we're gonna head over to the diner next. KC slowly making his way over. So yeah, just make sure you got that deer head from inside there. That's number two. You can check how many deer heads you've got by if you go into your um, go to your mine place. There'll be a deer head on the wall. If you interact with it, it will say like 9 left or 10 left, for example. Right, it's going to get its map on the side wall for Diner. This will be the Bright Force map. So pick it up. Yep, yeah, this is the map here, guys. And then come and talk to Sheriff Breaker, who's blocking the entry for the Diner. He's finished his donuts, so he's about to leave and go back to the police station. Yes, yeah, so just ask him a few questions, ex exhaust his dialogue until he steps out of the way. I think he's only got one question to ask each time. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Right, once you've stepped out of the way, come into the far right of the diner and talk with the bookers. Yeah, so first you want to ask him, can you tell me what you saw? Ed and Tammy. Ask him what they saw, yeah. And then after that one, you choose, why do you think it was a cult? A naked guy came out of the lake. That explains it all. The masks and knives aren't enough. Yeah, so once you've asked them two questions, go to Mind Place and profile the bookers. Yeah, profile them. I say click on their picture and choose both options. The Court of the Tree and Cauldron Lake. But once you've done so, leave the Mind Place and then ask her, I think you found something. Yep, and then she'll hand over this necklace. She'll actually put it on the table. Do not forget to pick it up. Yeah, there'll be a little cutscene once you pick it up. I think it's unmissable anyway. Yeah, be a little cutscene once you pick it up. You'll get the um, photo for the maid and for the necklace. And then we'll come to this room, guys, in the corridor, first room on the right. And it's going to be your third deer head. This is deer head number three of 12. Yeah, so once you've stroked it, come back outside. And Sheriff Breaker and Casey will be ready to head to the police station now. But we're going to come over here first and we're going to examine this setter for mayor stand. You only have to examine it, you don't have to scroll over the text like so. You just have to ex examine the whole sort of picture like that. Right, and there's actually a lunchbox in the park on the right. But I know, I, what I like to do, I try to just get these guys up here because once you go in that park, they'll just stop and wait for you. Um, but if you get them up here, there's, some, there's two MPCs up ahead, one of them's got a, a red shirt on. The sheriff normally stops and talks to them, so I normally get them near it. So while I'm getting a lunchbox, they're doing the talking, getting that out of the way. Try to kill two birds with one stone there. Right, he's about there next to the guy in red, so I'm going to come in here now. Now, see that gazebo? 
the tree to the right of it the lunchbox is on the right of that tree to the right there it is and inside there guys will be five manuscript pages Right, so now we're going to follow Sheriff and Casey to the police station. Yeah, so you should have 14 manuscript fragments right now. Song's been collecting everything the way I have. Yeah, so normally talk to them two punks and reds. Oh, piss off me. <laughs> it, it takes a long time to get them to, um, a lot of times you're just waiting for your NPCs to move to the next location. But yeah, over here, eventually once you reach, you'll finally be allowed entry into the sheriff's station. Hey, boss. And once you do get access, Wow, his bloody face looked weird then. Once they get access, you want to examine the map on the far wall behind reception. Yes, the map directly in front of the door. It's on the far wall opposite the door behind reception. Yeah, that map there. Pick it up and then go into the side room. Very important. There's a side room, this one here. Yeah, go into there. You should get that collectible adventure tour. So that's one of the videos. They only trigger when you go in a certain place when the video is playing. So yeah, because video horse is playing I got a video <laughs> right gonna carry on down following these two they're gonna take you all the way down to the morgue where you find captain pants on the table captain moon or captain cheeks yeah it'll be down here on the table so it'll be the same again examine him a few times Yep. Actually, it seemed thought it was impossible, but it seems like it's somehow getting smaller. Yes, yeah, so talk to him. <laughs> talk to him. Examine him. Sorry, and you want to examine the heart, his forehead, his shoulder, his wrist, and his belly. Uh, his chest wound. Sorry. Yeah. Examine all of them. Right. Once you've done so, come back into your mind place, and you're going to examine the case board at the back. You're going to place this new evidence. Place that first. And then place all the new ones in there. That's it. A few will go at the bottom, the course of death. And a few of them will go at the top. Yeah, if you're not sure where it, where it goes, just try on another yellow tab. Like I say, if, if the tab goes green, that means you found all the evidence for that tab. Yeah, so um, you'll have to switch them. I mean, some will go in that bottom one and some will go in the top one. And then once you slot them all, there'll be a small little cut scene. And you want to leave the mine place and examine Nightingale again for another cut scene and for a little encounter. With a naked man. Yeah, your first time fighting a naked man in this game. So you have to wait. You want to go in the light and wait for him to run behind you. He might try to whip you. Uh, with his penis but it's got really short range on it like a mega short range so you don't really have to worry about that but yeah wait for him to go behind you if you go out too soon he will instant kill you from behind if you know what I mean yeah so once he's gone behind you run through here pick up your gun off the floor turn around and get ready to shoot him in the head two headshots will kill him on easy and you want to go for headshots anyway if you can because there's a trophy for killing enemies with headshots five times. That is enemy number one. I mean, yeah, he's may not be dead. We'll see. But yeah, you get a trophy, guys. Somebody's home. We've not quite properly finished the chapter yet. But yeah, straight after you get control back, pick up the manuscript page on the left. Yep, and then once you pick that up, we're going to examine it. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. 
Yeah, examine it in the mind place. Yeah, that manuscript page. And then we're also going to place new evidence on the wall. So yeah, read the manuscript page and then place new evidence on the wall. Where did Nightingale go? I think he went to the men's shop. Get some new underwear. Yeah, come and talk to Casey next. Tell him we were attacked by a dead man. And then tell him, let's go back to Cauldron Lake. Right, now we've just got to head back to Cauldron Lake, guys. And then that'll be it for that video, for that chapter. There's one more little collectible we're going to get first. Just on our way out. So you're going to try and get out. Careful you don't slip on the blood there. Sheriff Breaker disappeared. There's a naked dead man running around. And um, the woman down there obviously got killed. Yeah, so once they let you get past, carry on up. Take right. You should know your way out. Because it's the same way we came in. Yeah, up here into the corridor. Take right. Go out the front door. Yep, go left. And there's a setter for mayor sign. So you see over there on the right. I had no idea what this woman's doing. She's tried to hide from somebody. She's really good at blending in. I hardly noticed her. I only noticed her because I almost tripped over it. Yep. Setter for mayor. You don't have to actually read the text on it. Just examine it. And um, that'll be one of the setter for mayor collectibles. So we've got two. How many of them? I think, I think there's six of them. So that's two. Yeah, but then come into your car, guys, on the driver's side, and go to Cauldron Lake. And then that'll be it for that video. So, yes, yeah, so as soon as you arrive, the next chapter sort of begins. You'll get a text on screen calling it Return to the Heart. Yep, and that'll be it, guys, for that one. So, you've got a chapter, we've got sort of what, re the intro done, and chapter one. Right, so I'll leave it there guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on part two.